Hey guys, welcome to uh, video update 5 for the Cypress 29 video log series. Um, in the last video I got my operating system installed, uh, set up my RAID, and did a couple things making sure the uh, motherboard worked and the solid states worked and uh, everything's looking good so far so now I'm going to get back into uh, ironing out the last of the details on the case. I kind of have, have a couple panels I have to hit to add some uh, just some different trim and different things like that to it and then uh, I have to adapt the case for the electronics, drill in some cable management and I plan out how I'm going to run my wiring. Uh, for right now I think the back, I, there's quite, pretty much every panel has something I need to add to it so for right now I'm going to start at the top of the case and work my way down. I'm going to start with this top uh, extension panel there I made to cover the fans on the top of the case. I'm going to put some trim on it, like the, this on the side here. I'm going to put one piece across the middle and I have to drill out for the fill port to the top uh, reservoir and uh, two switches on the top. So I'm going to start there and uh, I don't know, I'll see how much content I can get into this video here. I might make a couple of videos just for the details that I'm working on right now and then uh, make another video or two for the electronics that I'm going to be doing. Hopefully I can get that into one video. But for now, I'm going to get started on the top panel here. Alright, first thing I'm going to do is tape off the area measure everything out and get my three holes drilled. I think I'm going to put the fill port in the center and a switch on each side and then the panel under it I'm going to have to cut out and open up an area right right in the same spot so I can get a tube that will go down to the reservoir and then my wires go down freely. I'm going to go ahead and get these holes drilled. Okay, first thing I need to do is take some masking tape, mask off this area and center it for the fill port and then center the halves of that for each switch. So I'm going to put the fill port in the middle and a switch on each side. And uh, then after this is all straightened out, I'll go ahead and i got to make a big cutout here to open up this uh, metal panel. Alright, I got the switch and the fill ports in on this. Came out pretty nice, I like how they look. Now, I have to take the Dremel and cut this area out. I'm debating if I want to cut this out and make my own mount. My radiator will mount onto this, but I can't put the top two, screw, uh, top two screws in. The, uh, uh, the rest of them will, it's a triple uh, 120 radiator, so I'm still debating on that, but for now I'm gonna get the hole cut out for the cabling and the fill port stuff.
the hole cut out. That'll go under the fill port and the switches. The wires will be able to go through here and route nice and easily. And uh, I'll end up going around the edge with some MMPC tech, uh, some of the rubber U-channel. I'm not sure. I'm probably going to end up at the end of everything taking all the U-channel and spraying it with Plasti Dip and making it white. Uh, either it, it'll look better either on the white panel or contrasting on the copper. Either way. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is go around the edge of this with the quarter inch rectangle stock um, acrylic. I'm going to paint it copper and glue it on all the way around in the middle of this panel and it'll match the extension area on the stacker on the sides. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and start getting that stuff cut now. Alright, what I decided to do was take the acrylic, I'm going to glue it on first. I've marked halfway in between the screws. So I'm going to glue it on one side. I'll cut off the edges, make them nice and flush, uh, glue on the other side, and then I'll fill in the gaps and tape off everything except for the acrylic uh, stock that I'm gluing on. I'm going to paint this stock copper so it'll match the case size. I'll have it masked off and tomorrow morning I'll hit these edges with paint and uh, clear coat it and be ready to go. And I'll see if I can squeeze in if there's anything else I could fit into this video. Um, if not I'm just going to cut it here and end it with uh, the painting of this trim. So we'll see what else I can fit in. I've done a little bit of sanding to the corners. I'm going to hit them with a little bit of primer uh, to kind of see the little bit of cracks that i got to fill in yet. And uh, once it's there, I'll prime the whole thing and hit it with some copper paint and be done.
right, that's gonna wrap up another video. Um, got the trim installed here. I think it matches up the middle area very well, and uh, it's a nice touch. I think what I'm gonna end up doing is making some panels that come off and kind of have the same contour as the bezel and uh, add them on at the same spot as all of these uh, out the front and the back. On the back, I'm on a panel onto it that has all my input output extensions that go into the motherboard on the inside so I don't have to go inside the case to plug things in. I can just plug them in right in the back. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do that next or if I'm going to move on to a different panel, but uh, I'm just glad that this is wrapped up. I got the fill poured in and the switches in, and uh, that'll end the uh, fifth video for Clockwork Case Mods and the Cypress 29 uh, video log project. Uh, thanks again to Primo Chill, Mod Smart, Cooler Master, Swift Tech, and CaseFeed.com. And uh, yeah, I'll check you guys in the next video.